Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Steelers, here we go. Pittsburgh's going to the Super Bowl. Here we go. Cheer the Steelers, black in the gold. Here we go. Town of Pittsburgh's, heart and soul. Here we go. G'day, Steeler Nation. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Uh, that was my AI in- intro. Here we go. Here we go. All righty, guys, let's cut to the chase. So I was looking around the internet today and I found this article, uh, XFL to the NFL signing process. The early stages of the triad slash signing process by NFL teams can begin next week, which is pretty much tomorrow or once the week is done with the XFL. I think there's there's four games left. Pretty much four teams will make the playoffs and four teams will be eliminated. So once this week is done, then XFL players from four teams uh, who didn't make it, I think like the Guardians didn't make it, the Vipers didn't make it so far, and I think the Defenders have made it, and the Houston Roughnecks have made it. So four teams won't make it, and four teams will make the playoffs, right? So once they once that happens, NFL clubs uh, will be permitted to request triads of XFL players beginning the day following a player's club last game of the season, including playoffs. How exciting is that? Now, we all know with Omar Khan and his 12 free agents that he signed, there could be a possibility that the Steelers are looking at the XFL saying who played well, who didn't play well, and do we want to try and uh, organize a private session or a player workout for that person, that player, to sign with the Steelers. That could be very exciting. So I wouldn't wouldn't put it past me from what's been happening in the offseason that Omar Khan might go and do that. Could be at linebacker, could be at receiver, uh, you know, cornerback, uh, defensive lineman, could be anyone. With Omar Khan right now, you just don't know what's going to happen, right? Now, you're probably thinking, well, how many players will make it in from the XFL to the NFL? Well, this is from uh, XFLNewsHub.com, and it says here, over 70 players in the XFL in 2020 landed on NFL rosters. Nearly 20 of those players made regular season roster three years later. P.J. Walker, Tyler uh, Heineke, the, qu- the quarterback, right? And also, our mate Christian Kuntz. He made it from long snapper as a Dallas Renegade to the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, practice squad, and now he's a long snapper for the Steelers. So it can happen, right? I believe the Steelers cut him in 2019. He joined the Renegades. Uh, the COVID stuff happened. Then the XFL, XFL folded, and then Christian Kunz came back and is now our long snapper uh, for the Steelers, right? So this could be a possibility, right? This could be a big possibility. NFL clubs will be permitted to request tryouts of XFL players beginning the day following a player's club last game of the season. So that's very exciting. So one week to go for XFL, and this could happen. Now, here's the thing with the contracts. So I was trying to figure this out, right? With the contracts with XFL players, players who make the XFL roster out of training camp will be signed to a minimum one-year deal contract. The base salary of almost $60,000 and $5,000 per game plus $1,000 per win. So unfortunately, guys who played with the Guardians have only got, I think, like one win. But this is very, very interesting because the XFL players pretty much got $60,000, $70,000 to play for 10 weeks, got their food paid for, the hotel paid for. Uh, they're on a team. And in my opinion, a lot of these guys were maybe trying to showcase their skills to the NFL. And now with these player workouts, it could be a real possibility that some of these players can work them work their way back into the NFL or at least on the practice squad. And that's quite that's quite exciting, right? Uh, I want to bring up one thing too as well. That um, the just to remind you guys what players were um, former Steelers that made the XFL. Now I'm not saying that these players are going to come back to the Steelers, but it is quite interesting that these players made it uh, and had like their their mini career uh, with the XFL, or you know, a, a new chance, right? Now, first of all, it doesn't list Martavius Bryant, but Martavius Bryant played for the Vegas Vipers. 
Now, I'm going to check his stats just quickly. I don't think he had the, the best year. I saw a few highlights. It's not, not the same guy that we saw with the Steelers, right? But Matavis Bryant also, is, there's also Eli Rogers too. Eli Rogers had 49 catches, 319 yards, uh, and I think two TDs, right? But let me try and find Matavis Bryant. I think he had about 100 and, uh, 154 yards, uh, 28 catches. So a pretty quiet time. But is there a possibility that the Steelers say, you know what? We had you before on the roster. Maybe we'll give you another chance, right? I'm going to highlight a few few guys that could that could happen. Now, I could see Tyler Vaughn's coming back. Uh, we all know that. I think Kenny, Kenny played with him in preseason. Uh, he might make – I'm not saying he's going to make the team. I'm saying he might make the practice squad. Uh, Max Borgie, I think, with the Houston Roughnecks, ran about 400 yards. So there could be a possibility that the Steelers might give him a chance uh, from the XFL and he was on the 2022 training camp, he might come back to the Steelers and, and get another shot. You just don't know, right? Uh, there's another one too I wanted to bring up. Um, Delonte Scott, I think he could be there, maybe possibly outside linebacker. But I tell you what, uh, Tuza Skipper has been playing very well too um, for the Sea Dragons, and he's also our linebacker. So would the Steelers go and get outside linebacker help at either Skipper or Delonte Scott? I think Delonte Scott has also you know, forced a few fumbles uh, in the XFL. So just a few things to look around the XFL guys after the last week. Uh, this is a big possibility this could happen. So the early stages of the triad signing process from NFL teams can begin next week. So in about two or three days' time, not only not only do we have the NFL draft coming up, like I'm not saying the Steelers will go and get XFL player, but the way things have been going in the offseason, that Steelers are adding O-line, D-line, punter, middle linebacker, receivers, uh, defensive backs, you know, there's probably a chance that Omar Khan and the organization and Mike Tomlin, the Roonies are all sitting around going, okay, we like this guy from uh, the XFL, from the defenders, from wherever. We might give him a shot. Don't know. I'm just saying we might, it, it might happen. So yeah, that's my video for today, guys. Um, thank you for checking in and saying hello on uh, Steeler Nation Australia. But this could be a thing. This could actually be a thing. NFL clubs permitted to request tryouts of XFL players the day the games are over. Now, the games will be over tomorrow, I think, up in about two days' time. So after, like, Monday, that's it. Then we'll know what playoffs. So, yeah, you could, in a few days' time, guys, we could see XFL players join the Steelers practice squad or team for a shot this year to make the team. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out Steelers Nation Australia. I'll see you later.